Hey guys, this is Kelton. It is Saturday, the 11th, September 11th. Um, and yeah, I just have been wanting to make a video for at least a week now and just haven't had the time, haven't taken the time to, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy last few weeks for me and I'm sure it is for you too, if you're listening. And um, yeah, there's just so much going on. Um, man, I had... COVID, uh, my whole campus had COVID for goodness sakes. It was like, got to the point where like 12% of people had tested positive and there are many more who hadn't tested. And yeah, it was just, it was a crazy time. And so, um, had to deal with bad internet and getting connection to classes on zoom and ended up sitting on the porch outside because I could get at least enough cell service to, to hear the class going on. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was an adventure for sure. And, um, I think that's a good place to be, honestly. I think it's a good um, place to be where you don't know how to do what you're supposed to do uh, because it makes you trust God more, you know, and and just allow him to be the sole provider and propitiator of your life. And that is what he wants from us. And he will allow a lot of things into our life to get us to that place of recognizing that we're not in control and uh, we shouldn't be. And so... I just want to encourage you guys with that today, and uh, the word hope has been on my mind a lot in the last uh, month or so, and so there's just been a lot of things that seem pretty hopeless in my life lately, uh, and it's so much better, honestly, than than, than a lot of people, um, and, and just, I'm, I'm not saying that to brag or anything, I'm just saying that, like, I'm at a good place in comparison to a lot of other people who are struggling with um, a lot of even worse issues, and so I, I don't want it to seem as if, oh, my life's a mess, and like you know, um, you know, p pity me, because uh, that's not it at all. I, I just I just want to show you just areas in my life where uh, I have been struggling to to find hope and to to truly put my hope in God. Um, a few of those are um, tuition. I don't know where or how I'm going to get tuition money uh, for the next. Uh, for like the rest of the semester and, and onward and and I know it'll come uh, and I am not worried about that I just recognize that it's it's a mystery to me right now and likewise with my internship uh, I have an internship that I'm going to be doing this summer and I don't know where that's going to be yet I have some ideas but um, yeah I, it, that could change tomorrow I, I have no idea and um, likewise with um, just relationships you know I've I've wanted to be in a relationship for years now, and um, God has continued to affirm that I, I will um, get married someday, but at the same time that it's not now, and that I need to be okay with that, and I need to trust Him in that, and also yearn for Him more than I would for a spouse, you know, um, because she's not going to be able to satisfy the deepest needs of my heart, only He can. And, you know, so I've been seeing countless friends. I've been invited to like seven or eight weddings this year. And, you know, I have a bunch of other friends who are getting engaged or are, you know, finally finding a girlfriend after years of waiting or even after just a few months of waiting. And uh, it's just kind of frustrating sometimes to think, you know, Lord, you're, you're allowing all of these other people to have relationships. Why not me? And um, yeah, I guess just the the road with God can be a lonely one at times and um, you know he has different paths for each of us and sometimes that means you know meeting your girlfriend in high school and and dating ever since until you get married at the age of 21 or something and, and I have friends who are like that uh, and that's awesome you know praise God for that honestly um, and then there's other people who are single until they're 43 you know and um, have found contentment in that and and that's that's the sweet spot that you want to find is contentment and, and putting your hope and your trust in God and saying God you are and you will always be the satisfier of my heart not um, not a spouse not a job not anything else and uh, that's that's where we need to be right now uh, especially with all the things going on in the world with Afghanistan uh, with with all the things going on with um, just politics in America and COVID, COVID response, and just everything else that is happening 
it is hard. Uh, it's it's very hard to uh, you know keep your focus right now, and and that's what we have to do is we have to keep our focus on God and not on um, the rest of this world because um, you know there's there's good news and there's bad news, right? Um, the good news is Jesus, and and you're not going to find that on TV. You're not going to well, I mean you could, but like you you won't find that on the news is what I'm saying. Um, you're not going to find that flipping through the Reader's Digest of current events, you know. Um, and so I just really encourage you in this season to ask God what kind of media you should be putting in your head. Uh, because sometimes there are, you know, news sources that he wants you to listen to um, so that you can be aware of the environment that you're in and to pray for those things. But at the same time, you don't want to be so inundated with culture and with events that are happening that you get bogged down and you become fearful and distrusting and and wonder god where are you um because he's right here you know um he never left us he's he's in us literally um in a way that we can't even grasp and and yet um it's easy to feel forgotten it's easy to feel lonely as if you know he did leave us um but he promises that he never will and he's not going to break that promise um and I can, I can attest to that in my own life uh, many times over that he has never left. And so w- with that being said, um, it reminds me of Psalm 42. And this is a psalm that God led me to this last week, which is where David is having all of these issues, probably a lot worse than any of ours, honestly. Um, he's being chased in the wilderness by a king who wants to kill him, even though he is actually... Um, the the next king in line that's supposed to be getting help from this king, you know, theoretically. Um, But instead, he wants to kill him because he's jealous of him. And so he's in the wilderness. He's being persecuted. He's being hunted down and pursued. And, you know, um, God says, you know, get over yourself, basically. Um, Put your hope in me. And so David says, um, why are you downcast, O my soul? Um, Why are you weary, broken within me, um, put your hope in God, for I will yet trust him, my Savior and my God. Um, he is uh, my Lord. He is my Savior. He is my God, and he will provide for me, even if it's not in the way that I think um, makes sense or that I want in this moment. Um, he will provide, and, and that is a promise. Um, that's not just a suggestion or a maybe if you do enough. Um, that is always, always the case. Um, so you just seek him, and you will find him. And God, God assures us of that many times over. And so I just want to encourage you with that today, that um, no matter what situations you are facing today, that uh, God is faithful. He's good, and he has a, an amazing plan for our lives. Um, and his uh, will for us, it's good, it's pleasing, and it's perfect. Um, you can find that in Romans 12. And so... You know, we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice to him. You know, just like Jesus says, deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me daily. You know, so we daily deny ourselves and then we pick up our cross and then we follow him every day, just waking up and saying, Lord, I am not living with any um, expectations of, of, you know, desires that need to be met. I have um, you and you are enough and I trust you in that and I believe that I will see you um, affirm and fulfill that, you know, that trust in my life today. Um, I love you and I know that you are good. And so, you know, just like David, you know, when he's in the wilderness, he says in Psalm 23 that surely your goodness, Lord, and your mercy, your loving kindness will pursue me all the days of my life. And so he has all of these enemies pursuing him um, and they're, they're hunting him down. And he says, yes, I'm aware of that, but God, your goodness, your mercy, your loving kindness, your chesed will pursue me. It will pursue me all the days of my life. So these guys might be chasing me for a few weeks, few months, a couple years, but you are going to pursue me every single day for the rest of my life. And every day I'm going to find another reason to love and praise you. And that is an assurance and a confidence that we can have and, and really sink our teeth into, you know, and taste and see that the Lord is good. Um, And as we delight in him, he will put his desires in our heart and he will make them our own. Um, And so I just really encourage you guys with that, that you would um, really seek him and say, Lord, what is it that I should be hoping for? Um, Because there's a song called, um, it's different now from Pentatonix and it's really been on my heart a lot lately. And it just basically says, you know, I've been, I've been holding my hopes waist high 
uh, so they don't tumble down and keep me yesterday bound. I've been holding my breath because I don't want to be let down. Um, and so I just realized, like, as I, as I heard that song, like, wow, that's what I've been doing, Lord. Um, I have been, you know, holding my hopes waist high. I don't want to get my hopes too high up um, because I don't want to be disappointed again. And um, God's saying, get your hopes sky high. Um, but your hopes have to be in me, you know, because um, God's the one that's sky high. Um, not my dreams, not my ambitions. It's him, you know. And so as we put our hopes with him and in him, um, the sky's the limit. And even that is is really not <laughs> because um, he has made everything and, and he's so much bigger than everything. And so everything uh, is subject to change, but he isn't, you know. And so as we put our hope in his, him, as we put our hope in his ability to see us through these things and to, to provide for us and even bless us in the midst of terrible circumstances, um, he comes through every time. Every time that we put our hope in him and our trust in him, he always um, proves himself to be worthy of that trust. And so I just encourage you guys with that, that um, he is trustworthy and we are entering into a new season of joy. And it's not going to look like that um, for the next few months. I, I truly believe that, that it's going to get hard. Um, even harder than it is and probably has been, honestly, in the last 18 months. Um, and I know that's probably hard to hear, but um, we are coming into a new season and um, something is birthing in the atmosphere. And I think you can sense it uh, if you're watching this. And so in the midst of that, just know that it's going to be hard. You know, birth uh, is painful. But the minute that child is born, the minute you hold him or her in your arms, all the pain melts away and you're left with this numb feeling of bliss honestly <laughs> I've never given birth obviously and I can't but um, from my mom and other people who have talked about it uh, yeah the minute you see the child you, the minute you see the fruit of your labor literally um, it's worth it every minute of that pain was worth it all of the last 20 months will be worth it um, when we see the joy that God is entering us into um, and so I'll probably talk about that more in, in the coming weeks and months as God um, gives me permission and just gives, uh, puts things on my heart to talk about. But um, yeah, so in the meantime, just, you know, keep seeking him. Keep putting your trust in him. You know, why are you downcast on my soul? Um, and, you know, I will put my hope in God for he, you know, he is the joy of my life and he will provide for me. And so I trust him and I know that he's going to do that. He has every, every single day um, for the last years I've seen him uh, do amazing things in my life as I trust him and so um, yeah just be blessed with that today and I love you and I will see you guys soon